It's Tune Up Tuesday, and this morning we are looking on the bright side of things to focus on how to practice optimism. Psychologist Dr. Deepika Chopra is known as the optimism doctor and is here to help. Good morning, doctor. Good to good see you. Good, good morning. morning. It's so good to be here. Well, first of all, so what's the difference between optimism and positivity? Mm. How do you... How do you differentiate those? So I feel like people are always so surprised when I say positivity is not the first word that really comes to mind for me when I think about optimism. The first two words that come to mind to me are resiliency and curiosity. And so I think there's this misconception of what being optimistic is. And I think people just think that being optimistic is about being positive 24-7. Mm -hmm. And in reality, that's not possible. And so a true optimist is really someone that is very keenly aware of the setbacks and the roadblocks and the less than ideal situations. But the caveat is they see them as temporary and something that they have the ability to overcome, even if they don't know how or when. So wow. it's really about That's this resiliency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because it's more realistic, I guess, yes. than because you're dealing with robots. So if you are optimistic, you're saying that you will not only be mentally better, but physically better. Yes. Yeah, so there is just a host of research done. I think we can all sort of agree that it makes sense that our emotional selves are better if we right. have a more optimistic mindset. But what I think is so interesting is there's been a ton of research done and optimistic people are sick less often. They have better cardiovascular health. They um, live longer. They thrive longer. So not just in terms of how many years they live. Um, they have better support system, more uh, more able to reach their goals, and they they just experience more positive mood. Right, you make better decisions. But, yeah, you make yeah. more actually optimistic people more likely than not make more healthy decisions. And I think it makes sense because they can kind yeah. of, they can see who they are going to be in the mm -hmm. future and they kind of invest in that. Would you say that we're born optimists or pessimists or is it is it a muscle we can kind of work on to get better at? You hit the, you hit the target <laughs> word. It's totally a muscle. So there is a lot of research to support that there is a, you know, genetic component. Mm -hmm. But the good news is uh, it's only really up to 25%. Hmm. So the remaining part really can be learned. And so I like to look at optimism as a muscle and really this thing that's on a continuum. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you often hear... Uh, you know, I just think I was born more pessimistic or I'm a pessimist or an optimist. And I actually feel we are all sort of neither. We're all both. Right. So there are aspects of our life that we are more prone to being optimistic. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, you know, I'm known as the optimism doctor, but I got to be honest, I am not the most optimistic person. Really? And yeah, my like Achilles heel with optimism is really like medical stuff and health. Mm -hmm. So it That's depends on the different, thing, yes. the different thing. The different thing. You may thing. be optimistic about your kids right. and their, their future, but maybe your health is something right. else. Right, right. And so that's where my work lies. And so I think we're all on a continuum. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, you know, we can grow on that continuum mm -hmm. and there are actual exercises we can do to, to increase. Yes. In fact, mm -hmm. you, you created this, this uh, deck of cards called Things Are Looking Up. So yes. How does that so this is a deck of cards. There's 52 of them, and they each have a science-based prompt or an actionable item that actually tells you what to do. So they're not affirmation cards. Okay. And they all work to increase your optimism and your resiliency and your joy. So can we try this? Yes. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you go first. Okay. Al. I'm going to pick a card for you. Okay. Pick a it's card. Like a magic pick card. any card. <laughs> pick any card. Any card. All right. I've seen this on the. This is your card. Uh, I've seen this on the street. <laughs> I lost a bunch of money. Uh, just for today, instead of making a to-do list, make a ta-da list or uh -huh. an I did it list. Yes. So, what do you mean by that? So, you know, I think we get bogged down, and it can be very stressful for us to constantly think about all the things we need to do mm -hmm. or we have to do. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, I hear people at the end of their day making a list for the following day of all the things they have to do. And I say, why not make a ta-da list? Mm -hmm. These are all the things that I have accomplished today. So like gratitude often, for what you've done. Yeah, gratitude mm -hmm. for what you've done. Right. And you start to realize at the end, and I'm talking about small things, because yeah. those really matter. Right. You start to realize how accomplished you really are, and it's really about about this sense of self-mastery and empowerment. You've got to make a big to do list. <laughs> You've got a lot of things this. going on there. It's really <laughs> important. Dr. Trump, thank you so much. Really appreciate this. Great yes. Advice. Okay, wait, there's more. Oh, no, we, oh. Well, unfortunately, we're, we're oh, out of time. So. Oh, but no I want to take my card for later. You're going to take your card. You know, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this online. Okay. Okay, so we'll, okay. people can check it out.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.